You are not going to believe what just happened to me. I reached up in here to get all these pine needles out of this camper, out of the awning, and look what I grabbed onto. Something moved. Look at that guy. He was in there. And he's camouflaged. How is that possible? He's white. How in the world is that possible? This this camper was packed up for a year. We towed it back here from the lake a year ago. And he found his way up in there somehow. I don't know if he came from the lake. What has he been eating? Has he been eating the bugs in there? I'm completely amazed. Mostly because of his color. And he's camouflaged. It's like a... Like a... Iguana frog or toad. What is that, you guys? How is it that he's white? We didn't spray paint anything. And he's really, really cute. I gotta ask my son in law, David, about this. So, we're getting our camper, our bigger camper, ready to sell because it was sitting at the lake. We used it for overflow and we used to take it on family trips. But well, we don't do that anymore and I'm getting it ready to sell. I folded out the awning for the first time in a year and I'm proud to say it's still clean up in here and uh, pressure washed the rest of it and I was just blindly reaching up into here and clearing out pine needles and I grabbed onto something soft and kind of warm although it aren't warm. Uh, hold on. It's got a police call nearby. There he is. <laughs> anyway, I reached up and full on grabbed him and was gonna pick him up and he wiggled and moved. I didn't know if I grabbed a bat. He is just beautiful. It's amazing what God's creations here on earth that I discover in my everyday. Here I'm working away, kinda just slaving away at the hard work and I get stopped by something in nature. God has provided some amazing, amazing creatures. Now I don't dare fold that back up. I'd love to keep them, but if I do that, anytime, you know, when you keep something from nature, it dies. And I don't want it to die. I want it to live on in our yard. But how can a frog change the color to match its surroundings? Or maybe he's that way all the time, and he just chose to live in here because... There's a constant source of water and a constant source of bugs. Probably a lot of spiders in there. Look at that guy. That's truly amazing. I'm glad I didn't pressure wash up in there. A toad or is it a frog? To me, it looks like a tree frog. But, you know, I don't know much about amphibians. Hi, little guy. We should name you Frosty White. <laughs> Would that be a good name? Wow. Totally amazed. I gotta get some photos.